<laughs> but you're wondering, why the bird sounds? Well, I'm sure you read the title of this video, which I so aptly named. I'm going to be making a bird feeder. That's right. Not just any old bird feeder, though. No, no, no. One that's 3D printable. One that's very future-friendly. Biodegradable material. P-L-A. Mm, mm. Let's get into it. Ooh. Ah, welcome to the 3D workspace of Fusion 360. I wanted to go over a couple of things that go into the design process of these uh, projects and what kind of goes into the creation of them. Um, so first things first, there's a couple rules I like to follow. One of them being that whenever I design a wall, I like to make it a multiple of 0 0.4 or 0 0.6 millimeters. Now the reason why I do this is because uh, my 3D printer uh, extrudes material at 0.4 or 0.6 millimeters. So having it a multiple of 0.4 or 0.6 makes it incredibly easier for the pr 3D printer to create accurate and stable walls. And the results of that is something that looks like this versus something that looks like that. And you can see the difference there. It kind of makes the 3D printer have to struggle a bit more. All right. Um, so yeah, this, this part is me just creating the trays for the seeds. Uh, nothing too complicated. The only thing of note I would mention is that I created the tray separate from the base because of something I'm about to do. Um, whenever you do a circular pattern, if you use the features or the bodies together, it can sometimes not work 100% of the time. I don't know if that's just my inexperience, but for me, this worked a lot better to create, to, to use two circular patterns, first using features, which created the holes, and then second, creating the bodies. And then I combined all of them together in order to fully mesh together the object. <clears throat> now the next part is adding in the base, bro. Gotta add in the base, make it like flush with that that stuff, bro. Like gotta gotta make that flush. And oh, mistake. Good thing I can go back in time and change it to new body. The reason why I do that is because I want to do something a little nifty, a little little interesting, a little make it my own. You know, I got I got a 3D printer. I I can I can do some pretty interesting stuff. So, I made this a loft. You see that little pancake looking thingamajing? That's, that's, uh, that's important. That's a big brain move right there, 100%. Are you sure about that? So what that's gonna do is when I pour the seeds and when it's getting low, the seeds will still be gravitationally pushed to the holders instead of staying at the bottom, which is something I wanted to avoid because I didn't want the birds to be like, bro, I can see the seeds, but I can't get them and then they just decide not to come to my house anymore and that would make me sad. So that's what I did. And uh, what, was that, what I was doing right there is I was just projecting the edges of those lines so that I could get exact measurements in order to create um, an even further guarantee of uh, the seas rolling into the spot they're supposed to. And that's kind of the beauty of Fusion 360. It's very precise and it's very measurement orientated so if you, you kind of keep in mind what what you're supposed to be doing and what, what kind of measurements are going into um, your object you can, you can create some pretty nifty stuff second time I use that word but it's a great word um, so here I am is using one of the coolest features in my opinion is called fillet and it kind of just smooths out edges and it uh, calculates the geometry to make it um, a little bit more uh, useful is the word maybe I don't know but uh, yeah, it looked pretty cool, and it's pretty useful. At least I think so. Creation of these pegs. So the pegs are important because I'm printing it in two parts so that it doesn't need any supports. Support material is very, very annoying at times. Like it is, ask anyone who has a 3D printer, they will tell you they avoid supports at all costs. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And also I like to print in two colors. It's kind of nice. Um, so here, I actually uh, got a got an invitation from one of my friends to play Sea of Thieves. I get a bit distracted, and uh, well, later on we did have quite some fun with that. <laughs> and 
Anyways, so what I'm doing here is I'm creating the second piece using an offset of 0.4 from the other wall, the wall of the previous existing part. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that the parts can fit together snug, but not so much that it's impossible to remove them. And the part that kind of fully f mends them together is the pegs. And that's why I designed the pegs is it was a kind of a small, um, easy to design, easy to implement idea that would serve its purpose quite well. Now for the finishing touches, I'm going to be merging together the two parts of the second print and adding in the pegs. I hope you guys enjoy the music, and I'll see you when all of this is finished. Okay, here it is, the finished product, it looks pretty cool, I printed it in transparent so that we could see the seed level, that way that we would know, you know, it doesn't need to be refilled, so it's pretty cool. Now all I need to do is uh, remove the supports because I got little supports there, and um, print the top and then Test it out. It failed. Awful. Worst case scenario. Just kidding. <laughs> this is actually a good thing. Uh, I can talk about a couple things that were on my mind as I was making this video. Um, number one, welcome to the 30 day YouTube challenge. I'm gonna be making content every single day, challenging myself to create something new, something that challenges my skills. Yeah, so. I started with this bird feeder, been wanting to do this project for a really long time, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the journey. I'm excited to be doing this. Number two of why this is a good thing is it reinforces the idea that mistakes are actually, um, they're learning points. You know, it's like y you take what you've, what, what worked from the idea, like for example the transparency, I really like that. Um, the pegs definitely did work. The seed dispenser where it kind of has the seeds like a little slope. The loft, that those are all really good things. The pegs are a little bit too small. Uh, one of them actually broke off inside. <laughs> As you can see right here, I had to rip this apart in order to uh, even be able to take this apart. And then also, uh, these are just too small. The uh, four, it looks great, but I'm gonna change it from four to three because I will get more uh, more surface area for the seeds to rest in and more area for the birds to be able to easily get the seeds because I don't want to I don't want any overcrowding happening and the idea was four was to make it so oh there's multiple spots to go but where I'm putting this three is just a better idea in general so yeah it just kind of reinforces the idea that um, you have to just try you just have to try whatever it is that you you're thinking of doing you can't perfect it on paper you gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta try, and you gotta like hone what you want out of it, and and get it closer to perfection. But the thing is, is like, don't try to reach perfection. It's not gonna happen. You have to, at some point, be able to step away and be like, this is, this is well and good enough. So the balance is is definitely something that takes a little bit of practice. But I'm sure both of us will get there. We'll, we'll all get there one day. But yeah, just be c compassionate with your projects. I mean, like, I'm actually happy the way that this turned out because it, it challenges me to think think broader, you know, pour more effort in, and um, reach deeper into my skills and see see what I can come up with. And uh, I'm really excited, actually, to bring you guys part two of this video. So anyways, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I will see you guys uh, next video where we got, we got tons of content coming, 
really cool stuff. Some Christmas presents I'm making. Shh. I'm not going to tell anyone who the Christmas presents are for, because they're probably going to watch this video. I may have just given it away. I don't know if I should have said that. Huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> take care, guys. <laughs>